find parametric equations of the normal line to the function f of x comma y equals negative two x squared y cubed at the point two comma one comma negative eight. Recall the parametric equations of a line passing through the point x sub zero comma y sub zero comma z sub zero having a direction vector with components a comma b comma c are given by the equation shown here. So we know the point two comma one comma negative eight is the point x sub zero comma y sub zero comma z sub zero and the direction vector is going to be a normal vector to the surface at the point two comma one comma negative eight. Recall we can determine a normal vector to the surface by first determining big f of x comma y comma z which equals the given function f of x comma y minus z equals zero. This formula gives us a unit normal vector. We only need a normal vector so we can just evaluate the gradient of big f at the given point. So let's first determine big f of x comma y comma z which again is equal to f of x comma y minus z equals zero which is negative two x squared y cubed minus z equals zero. And now we'll determine the gradient of big f where the x component is equal to the partial of big f with respect to x which means we differentiate big f with respect to x treating y and z as constants. To find the partial of big f with respect to x, we multiply by two the exponent on x and then subtract one from the exponent on x which gives us negative four xy cubed because we're treating y as a constant and the derivative of z with respect to x is zero. The y component is equal to the partial of big f with respect to y so now we differentiate big f with respect to y treating x and z as constants so we multiply by negative three which is negative six x squared is a constant subtract one from the exponent on y which gives us y squared and then minus the derivative of z with respect to y which is zero and then finally the z component is equal to the partial of big f with respect to z so now we differentiate big f with respect to z treating both x and y as constants and therefore the partial of big f with respect to z is negative one. And now to find a normal vector at the point two comma one comma negative eight, we need to evaluate the gradient of big F at the given point. And therefore the X component is negative four times two times one cubed. The Y component is equal to negative six times the square of two times the square of one, and the z component remains negative one. Simplifying, the gradient of big F at the point two comma one comma negative eight is a vector in which the x component is equal to negative eight times one cubed or just negative eight. The y component is negative six times four times one which is negative twenty-four, and the z component is negative one. So now referring back to our notes on the parametric equations of a line in space, this is a possible direction vector where a is equal to negative eight, b is equal to negative 24, and c is equal to negative one. Now notice they already gave us an equation for z or z of t. We have z of t equals negative t minus eight. This is important, notice the coefficient of t is the value of c from the direction vector, indicating we need to use a direction vector in which the z component is equal to negative one, which is what we have, which tells us this is the correct direction vector to use. Remember, any scalar multiple of this vector would also be a direction vector for the parametric equations. And then the given point, which we'll call point P, two comma one comma negative eight, indicates x sub zero equals two, y sub zero equals one, and z sub zero equals negative eight, which is why z of t is negative one t minus eight. So x of t is equal to x sub zero plus a times t, which in our case will be two, and then because a is negative eight, we'll have minus eight t, and then y of t will be y sub zero plus b t, which in our case is one, and because b is negative 24, we have minus 24 t. These parametric equations will give us a line normal to the surface given by f of x comma y at the point two comma one comma negative eight. Let's take a look at the graph. Here we see the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y. This black point here is the point two comma one comma negative eight 
And I'm going to go ahead and graph the parametric equations that we found. This blue line is a line that we found that is normal to the surface at the given point. So if we rotate this correctly, we can kind of see it is normal to the surface at that point. I hope you found this helpful.